what's good y'all it's lance from sports templates here with our new universal shirt template for photoshop in today's video i'll be taking you through this template with our nike themed t-shirt our newest mockup is out now and if you want to follow along the link to the photoshop library with the colors and images will be in the description that's also where you can find the link to purchase the template which can also be found on sportstemplates.net but before we get started i want to remind y'all to drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this the universal shirt does come as a standard t-shirt template, but it does have a few extra features for customization. It comes with two collars, including a polo collar and a v-neck collar, as well as the option for long sleeves. Additionally, you will get access to a back view of your shirt, where you again get to add your polo collar and your long sleeves. But today, we'll be just working with the front view and the t-shirt. Furthermore, you can see that we can customize everything about the t-shirt base from the design on the torso to even if we zoom in the design of the collar and even our neck stripe on the back, as well as our short sleeves individually on the right and left side. Going further, we see that our design has dynamic lighting layers, which is custom in all of our templates. If we click onto our dynamic lighting, we get the option to adjust the panel mixer to saturation layers which if you see, if you go into our channel mixer and go in your properties tab, you can change, change where the lighting comes from image. Once you adjust your dynamic lighting to your desired settings, you can control or command S to save. And we see down the light is now coming from the bottom left. And this is present on both your sle short sleeves, long sleeves, as well on the t-shirt base. For me, I'm going to undo this, restore our default lighting, and begin editing our actual shirt. I'll start with the core of this shirt. I'll come into our torso design smart object, double clicking on the layer thumbnail to open it up. We have our grid and background color, but I'm going to undo our logo layers here, just placeholders for now, and I'm going to bring in our gradient color. And then it's gonna open up, not quite filling up the top space, we're gonna hold Alt and Option drag it up to make sure it's covering both the top and bottom fully it's going to be our background color and then we also have a pattern as well which i'm going to drag up here and do the same thing now for this one i don't want our pattern to be as strong so i think i will lower the opacity so it's just a little transparent a little further there then we're going to bring our logo up on the front, drag it into our layers panel and just bringing it up a little bit, hitting control or command T to open up our transform menu and bring it up a little bit. From here, I'm going to hit control or command and I'm going to click on our layer thumbnail to get a selection of our logo layer. I'm going to open up the select menu select modify fan and we're just going to expand our selection and pixels should do good from here i'm going to hold alt or option click on our layer mask icon not on there make sure you do it on the right layer click on your pattern layer hold alt or option on the layer mask icon what that'll do is just remove the pattern from this area as you can see still kind of visible close to our nike logo which makes it a little hard to read I'm gonna hit B on our keyboard to open up the brush tool. Make sure that's selected. I'm gonna right click, make sure our hardness is set at 100. At top, make sure our flow is set at 100. And then in your color panel, make sure your primary color is set to black. If it's not here, you might just have to double click it and make sure it's set all the way to black. And then I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna paint away the areas of our pattern, which we don't want to show. From here, get rid of these parts here. And I'm going to just make sure there's more of a hard divide as to where this pattern is. So I'm going to go up here, I'm going to click and hold shift and just drag across here. And then I'm going to do the same. I'm going to click here one time. I'm going to hold shift, kind of click up here diagonally. Make a diagonal cut there. I'm going to just hide all of these areas here. I need to get more separation between our Nike logo and the pattern and the pattern in the back. Just to make it clear and easier to read. Now, of course, as you're following this tutorial, if you're using these assets, you can kind of customize this a little more 
however you might like it. Once you're satisfied, you want to hit Control or Command S to save. We come back into our universal shirt. We see how it's on the front. So after designing the shirt, we want to edit our sleeves so we can come into our sleeves shirt, our sleeves short group rather. And you can see that we can edit both the individual right and left sleeve design, but we're going to hide both of these. We actually need to do something different because we have a gradient color. We can't just go in and edit our solid color for our sleeves. What we're going to do is actually hide our sleeves color. It's going to look a little funky for a second. We're going to actually drag our gradient layer in. We're going to put it right under our dynamic lighting layer. Or rather right under the effects layer. So after doing that, we'll see that we have the full image here, but we don't want it all to show here. We actually want it just to show on our sleeves. So we're going to come into our sleeve short group and where it says sleeves color and we have our layer mask, we're going to control or command click the layer mask thumbnail. We get our selection here. Then we're going to come into the gradient layer that we just added and click on the layer mask icon. Now it's only showing here on the sleeves. But the problem with this is that now our sleeve gradient doesn't match up with the rest of the shirt. It's real orange here and you can't quite, it doesn't quite match up with the yellow. So what we're going to do is back out. We're going to unlink our layer mask to our gradient layer by just clicking this little chain link icon. We're going to open up the transform uh, menu with control command T. So what we want to do is just drag this down to kind of match perfectly around the jersey. So I'm going to hold alt here and I'm going to just going to drag this till it snaps to the top of the jersey. Also snap it to the bottom. Then we'll just pull this in, snap to the edges. Now the way I'm able to snap here and if, is through these pink lines, which you can see right under my mouse icon. If you are not seeing these, then you need to go into view, go into guides, and or no, view, go in the show, and select smart guides. Make sure smart guides is checked. And what that will allow you to do is now you, when you're dragging through your transform icon, you'll see these pink lines and you'll allow you to snap certain areas and allow you to be much more precise when you're editing your files. But anyway, once we have our gradient in place, now have it on the sleeve and the colors match up to the rest of the jersey. But we also want to add our color here to the rest of the shirt up top. So we have these layers here, these purple ones right here in our layers panel. Our back design, our neck strap design, our collar design back, and on the front, these have their own layer mask as well. So what we can do is actually hit Control to click one. This one, the collar design front, and we can actually hit Control Shift for the rest of these as well. Now what we want to do is come back on our gradient icon here for our layer mask. We can go back to our brush tool the way we did before, and we want to reverse these colors. Or if you don't have the white selected, just make sure you click on the front color. Make sure you go and select your white color. Fix Fs, hit OK. And we can just drag across like this, making sure we get um, our color across all these parts of the shirt. So now the last step you'll notice is that there are these little gaps here where the shirt doesn't quite match up with the layer mask. We can see hints of the blue torso color peeking through what we want to do there is just take our torso color we want to select the middle of the shirt kind of like the middle of the gradient area we can double click on that and we bring up the eyedropper menu we can select around there which will get rid of the blue that was on the sleeve so with that our shirt is done so you just want to move on to the background i'm gonna close these groups here for the background color I'm we'll work my way up from the top to the bottom. We're just going to select our. Let's go bring this down to in between our orange and yellow, more of a cream color like that. Darken it a little bit. I'm going to change our big text here to the back by hitting T on my keyboard and just clicking on the text. And then we can change this to Nike. Perfect. I'm going to just make it a little bit bigger. So now you kind of got an idea of what it's. So I'm going to change all of this to align with my gradient. So what I'm going to do here, drag the gradient back in and I'm going to drag it right above the sports templates text group. Now, just to add a little bit of contrast, I'm going to flip it upside down. I'm holding shift and kind of dragging not on our squares here, 
but just right outside of the squares to rotate it but make sure you hold shift so you can kind of move in these even increments flipping that upside down and i'll drag this all the way out so it fully covers the back from here same way we were selecting the individual elements of the shirt before i'm going to select our text and our logos so in our sports templates text group i'm going to select our sports templates.net sports templates presents photoshop mockup and our big text just making sure you're holding control or command and shift as you're selecting all of these then we're going to hit our layer mask icon hit the gradient across all of them then we can close out our background group and there you have your own shirt so this tutorial was a rather simple one but there you have your own custom athletic shirt design as well as the potential to make various designs with our polo and v-neck collar and the back views as well but if you enjoyed this tutorial i want to again remind you to like and subscribe to the channel always be notified whenever we release a new template in a new tutorial and if you want to follow along with this very specific template you can get our photoshop library in the description and purchase the template for yourself there as well as on sportstemplates.net thank you again for watching see you next time